Bite here, and today we'll be making a stereoscopic uh, text, uh, text effect. Sorry, um, it will look something like this, uh, but I need it to touch on up uh, on some stuff right here. So, uh, yeah, let's just start it. Uh, create a new file. Uh, you can use whatever size you want. Um, you can also use your background size, wallpaper size, or uh, in this tutorial, as I am doing, I am making a um, 900 by 900. Uh, go ahead and color this in with black, and grab your text tool and make sure your foreground color is on white. Uh, the font I'll be using is Century Gothic Semi Bold. Um, if you have bold, go ahead and use bold. Uh, if you don't, uh, use whatever font you have. But you just want your uh, text to be bolded. Uh, now what we're going to do is rotate this um, text negative uh, 45 degrees and click rotate. Move the uh, text uh, right about here. Um, so if you do have semi-bold, uh, this is what you have to do to make it uh, bolder. If you have bold and you don't think that it's bold enough, uh, then do the same uh, I'm doing right now. Go to Alpha to Selection, uh, go to Edit, wait, no, Select, um, Grow, Grow by 3 pixels, and grab your Fill Bucket tool and just double click on each of the letters so you can bold it. And like that. Um, I still don't think that's bold enough, so I'm going to go to alpha to selection again. Uh, select grow by one more pixel. And so you should have something like this uh, bolded. Now we're going to uh, right click on the text layer right here and alpha to selection. Uh, grab a greenish blue color. Uh, I'm using um, the HTML notation is F8D27A. Um, and grab your gradients tool. Make sure your gradient is on linear. Uh, the gradient uh, is FG to BG. And stroke down from the B, uh, from whatever text, and stroke below, uh, the text, like this. So you should have, uh, a lot of green and a little bit white. Now what we're gonna do is, uh, right-click alpha to selection again, and create a new layer. Uh, set your foreground to black and color it, uh, the text in with black. Uh, again, I learned this technique from GIMP Know How, so, uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, do not select none yet. Uh, go to select, uh, shrink by four pixels, and right click, edit, cut, and select none. Now, go to filters, blur, Collage and Blur, uh, Blur by 9, now go to Filters, Repeat Collage and Blur, like this, again. Now, uh, create a new layer again, and go onto your original text layer, Alpha to Selection it again, um, make sure your foreground color is on white, go to Edit, uh, Stroke Selection, uh, by 3 pixels, and select none. Uh, make sure uh, your tool is on move tool. Double click on the um, canvas right here. And using your arrow keys, uh, just move the white a um, little bit off the um, letter. Like this. The original uh, version of this tutorial was uh, move it five times right uh, and up five times. Now, um, if you don't have script foo, uh, it's fine, um, but I recommend you to use script foo, and let me do some, okay, go to script foo, layer effects, outer glow, 
Um, the color I am using is a uh, red. The HTML notation is EF0000. And click OK. The opacity will be on 100. Uh, noise 0. Blending mode is on screen. Spread 15. Size 5. And make sure um, do not check any of these. Click OK. So you should have a reddish color and a orangish color right here. Uh, so we are done with our text. Um, now we are going to add the um, other stuff. And make sure that this layer is on top of the white. Um, now, create a new layer. And grab your paintbrush tool and make sure your uh, brush uh, paint, the color of it is on white. And uh, go to brush dynamics right here, the arrow. Um, and check random hardness size and opacity. And um, for the brush, I am using fuzzy circle fuzzy brush 19. And just randomly click um, around your text. Make some dots. Oops, sorry. Uh, and then change your brush to the normal um, brush. And oops, um, I'm gonna use 15 for this and just clicks around this and grab your fuzzy brush again and make some more. Okay, now uh, create a new layer again. This time, uh, go to your brushes dialog again. Uh, this time, check color, um, or you don't have to. All you have to do is change the color. Um, we are gonna hide this layer right now, and just um, make some dots uh, around the text and um, like on the text, like right here, um, a line of it and about like right here some right here because we want to motion blur it and you don't want a really straight line so like this uh, and make sure you have it on the sides also um, and you can change the color to black and make sure you do do some of the black stuff uh, like right here um, put some black on this too now change your brush to the normal, uh, the ha harder brush and put it on white uh, and make some dots around your image. I think that's good. Uh, go to filter, blur, motion blur. Um, turn your length all the way up to 256. Uh, the blur type will be in linear angle is 135 and click OK you really don't know how it's gonna turn out since uh, it depends on where you put the um, dots so if you don't like how it, uh, it turns out uh, just use the smudge tool like this um, and grab your fuzzy select tool uh, fuzzy brush sorry uh, and just smudge it Smudge it like this. Or you can grab your eraser tool and grab your smudge tool again and just do something like this. Um, like this. Now, uh, Uncheck your dots layer, um, and that's about it. Uh, so it's not really a hard tutorial, but the motion blur part is kind of weird. Uh, but again, thanks for watching, and subscribe. So, see ya.